hi guys good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are whatever time you're watching this this is mila welcome and welcome back to my channel so this is the first time i'm doing a get to know me time i have been on youtube for like i've been making videos for more than two years now or let's say two years i don't know i can't remember but i've been making videos and i have never done a get to know me tag before the reason being is that anytime i think of making a video like this i feel like who cares who like who cares <laughs> you know getting to know you who cares nobody cares nobody wants to know you that was literally what was you know always reading in my mind so yeah making a video like this for you guys you know to get to know me you know isn't something i feel like it's a it's a, a first video every youtuber or let's say most youtubers do so yeah i'm here to do that okay i'm here to do that it's finally here i have some questions you know i asked you guys to ask me questions i got a few I went on Instagram, I did the same. I went on Google and then, you know, searched for questions and I'm here to answer some of them to you. And through that, hopefully you guys get to know me a little bit. So before we jump into this video, don't forget to give this video a like. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, turn on your post notification bell and that way you get notified whenever i upload a new video and without further ado let's get into the video so i have some few questions here that i'll be answering and the first question is i don't know it's it's going to go random do you have children i do have a child i have one i have a daughter yes and i'm looking forward to having more <laughs> inshallah so the second question is if you have it if you have children what's their name i have a daughter and she's called fatima the third question is are you married or single i am married i've been married a lot of people don't know i'm married i don't know <laughs> I, I, a lot of people don't think I'm married, they don't think I look married, I look like a married woman, I don't behave like a married woman. Well, I don't know what that means, but I am married. I've been married for a very long time now. Well, to me, it's a very long time, okay? I've been married for getting to six years now. Yes, I've been married for getting to six years now. So yeah, that's that. So the next question is, what's your favorite thing to drink so my favorite thing to drink is apple juice cranberry juice yes and then mango juice yeah okay if i'm to choose one i'll go for apple juice okay apple juice that's what i like so the next question is do you have a best friend i do not have a best friend i have friends but i do not have a best friend and I pray to Allah, I pray to God to bless me with the best friend. Okay, we all need one. Next question is, who is your celebrity crush? I do not have a celebrity crush. I've never had one before. Case closed. Yeah. The next question is, do you consider yourself to be an introvert or extrovert? i am very very hundred percent introvert okay i that's just me i'm an introvert i'm not an extrovert i get tired easily i don't really like talking you know i'm not like a talkative i do talk especially when i'm in my comfort zone or i'm around people i am you know comfortable with yes i talk but all in all i'm very very like 100% introverts okay the next question is do you want to have a business because i do want to have a business i do have a business actually i have businesses <laughs> okay and i pray to allah to make it successful you know my businesses i'm a fashion designer i'm a student as well and i do side hustles little little things here and there if you follow my vlogs you know 
you know you know what i do and what business yeah, i already answered that the next question is do you have pets cats or dogs yes we do have both we have cats and we have dogs <laughs> okay yes we do have them so the next question is what activity do you do only when you are alone when i'm alone I'm, I'm alone most of the time <laughs> except for when my daughter is at home you know what i do is when i have like I, I'm, I'm always busy i always have something to do but when i'm doing nothing i'm always on my phone okay i'm watching youtube videos i'm watching netflix you know? so the next question is what has been your biggest regret up to now well it's something i can't say but other than that i do not have well okay so i would say this uh, my biggest regret up to now is is now i've gotten over it okay <laughs> i've gotten over it because honestly i can't keep myself uh, my biggest regret was not standing up for myself and not realizing how people took me for granted you know and how people took me for you know some people so yeah that would be my biggest regret other than that i do not have i can't go into details so yeah that's that so the next question is knowing what you know now what would you do differently if you were born again if I if I were to be born again, I would I wouldn't care less about what people think about me, you know, and I would always put myself first, love myself more, you know. I wouldn't care less about what people think about me. Yes. Um. Uh. I hope this my answers are you know <laughs> making sense. I don't know. So um. The next question is um. What would you do if a million dollar was given to you with no strings attached? What I would do is, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> what I would do is a million dollar. Okay, what I would do is I will, I will help um, my parents, you know, kind of solve some little issues here and there that, you know, is needed to solve it, it's needed to be solved financially you know and then after i would maybe use the rest to invest in something profitable you know something profitable that's something that's going to generate more money to be able to invest in other stuff so yeah that's that the next question is if you could change one thing about yourself what would it be Yes, procrastination that's what i'll change about myself i tend to procrastinate a lot which i which needs to stop okay so we are working on that next question so what do you think other people love about you well what i've heard from what i've heard so far is how nice of a person i am you know he said i'm a nice person yes and i know that I'm a nice person <laughs> the next question is um, if you were a teacher what subject would you teach i'll teach psychology <laughs> psychology yeah i'm very much interested in that so the next question is how would you define success i would define success to be happiness okay Success is happiness. If I'm happy and I'm healthy, you know, yeah, that's a, that's a huge success, okay? Well, money is important. Money does not give you happiness. Money solves problems, of course. Yes, we all know that. But happiness is the goal, is the ultimate goal, okay? When you are happy, when you are like truly truly happy you enjoy life you know you are happy all the time and you are able to if you are successful 
if you have money you'll be able to enjoy your money but when you are not happy the money is useless <laughs> okay the next question is what's more important the journey or the destination so to me i would say journey is more important right i don't know how to explain it but journey is more important you know life is a journey not the destination and sometimes you need to go through the process you know you need to go through the process experience the process the required process you know yeah so the next question is how is marriage life well how is marriage life marriage is marriage we all know in marriage you have ups and downs you know marriage is marriage it's up to you the individual to decide however you want to leave your marriage i am planning on talking more about that you know sharing with you some some things i have learned and some things i have unlearned so yeah marriage life is fun you know when you have kids when you have kids when you have a child you know you have responsibilities you grow up so marriage has its pros and cons so yeah marriage is marriage <laughs> so the next question is this one was from you know someone i know and she asked how do you handle motherhood pursuing your dreams and being a wife as well <laughs> well how do i let me answer this step by step how do i handle motherhood let's first answer that so motherhood to me well for me motherhood was very easy thank god for the kind of you know baby or kind of child god blessed me with my daughter is very very like self i don't know she's very she's independent you know she likes to do things herself I, when I tell her when she wants something I say oh mom she tells me mommy I want this I tell her oh okay I'll buy it to you tomorrow she'll be like okay everything okay so she makes life she makes motherhood so much easy for me alhamdulillah for that so with this particular question I feel like I didn't really do justice to it my daughter is very 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 understanding she listens all i do is guide her you know talk to her and she listens guys she listens she hates it when i get angry at her you know so she tries as much as possible to do what is right she's a kid of course she wants to experiment with stuff but i try my best to be patient with her you know it's alhamdulillah for the kind of daughter god blessed me with she she's just amazing she's very smart and she knows like she she she's very very observant and she knows what you want you know without you you know asking for it she knows what you want she observes a lot she's very very observant hope i answered your question so let's all pray to allah to give us you know kids who are going to you know bring peace in our lives and yeah and blessings you know and let's also pray for them as well has her own you know you know kids are stubborn kids i wouldn't say stubborn but kids are very difficult to handle sometimes and they worry they destroy my daughter she's a destroyer okay <laughs> they tend to you know destroy things and you know they just want to be kids kids are kids but in all i'll, I'll say alhamdulillah motherhood has been easy for me and yeah and the next one is pursuing your dreams and being a wife as well pursuing my dreams i pursuing my dreams i you know situations happen circumstances happen and first of all i'll say my husband is a very very supportive husband like he's very supportive in anything i do anything i want to do anything i 
pursue you know is 100 percent you know in support you know provided i'm happy with what i'm doing he's he's like he supports me in everything i do and he yeah he's in all i'll say he's a supportive husband right now me um me pursuing my dreams you know doing what i'm what i love doing what i'm doing now going to school being back in school you know right now i am not with my husband i am you know in my parents house so when it comes to like wife duties that is you know wife duties i am not really doing much i'm not doing anything you know when it comes to wife duties i'm not doing anything i'm just taking care of my daughter and helping my parents in the house you know and going to school and working on my you know business that's basically it but right now for wife duties i am off <laughs> i'm not like i'm off of wife duties what I'm doing is being a mother, taking care of my daughter, and that's that. So, but assuming if I was still with my husband in the same house with him, I wouldn't say things would have been the same because my husband is one person, like one who, you know, he knows how to do everything. He can cook, he can, so things that wouldn't be like difficult to manage or like being a wife you know he, he's a very supportive husband and we would know how to you know, manage things not for like not for it for it's not to be for it's not to be like difficult for me or something you know so yeah that's that i hope i answered your question so the next question is how many children do you plan on having well for me <laughs> i want four but if god will bless me with more fine and if god will bless me with good health and you know strength <laughs> and you know yeah but for now i want four children and inshallah i hope god blesses me with four children i want two boys two girls to balance you know the equation anyways <laughs> So the next question is, do you plan on going back to Turkey? Going back to Turkey, I'll surely go back to Turkey, but to go live in Turkey, I don't really know about that. I'm not one who really like fancy, who really wanted to travel. I always wanted to live in my country, you know, build my success in my country. I didn't want to go to any country to live to build a life i no, that wasn't the goal for me you know but it, it happened that i had to go to turkey to experience life over there so god has his own like god god that's part of god's plan for us you know that's part of god's plan for us so yeah but going back to live in Turkey, if God says I will go back to live there, fine, you know. But if, but for me, honestly, I like being here in Ghana. I don't know. Maybe I haven't experienced other countries yet. That's why. But I don't know. I feel like they are all the same. So yeah, I don't know. Going back to Turkey to live. If it's up to me, I don't think so. But yeah let's see what the future holds so the last and final question is what motivated you to start your youtube career so uh, what motivated me <clears throat> to start my youtube career was i started when i was living in turkey way back in turkey after i had my daughter you know i was always in the house when i was pregnant i was always in the house watching youtube videos i watched youtube videos a lot that was a that was literally the only thing i was watching every single day morning to evening so i watched it so much so that i became so engrossed i became so interested in 
it like how it works and all that and after having my daughter my daughter was about a month or two or three yeah my daughter was very young when i started you know i was i was bored okay i was bored and i was looking for you know something to do online that can you know provide me money so through watching videos i came across this video that i never knew youtube like you know pays people to make videos so i i watched that video and then oh i got so much i got so interested and i decided to you know, start you know and i didn't know you were supposed to reach some level of you know some certain levels on youtube before you can be monetized and i didn't know all that it was when i after i started and when i was doing more research about you know it that i got to know that you know <laughs> so yeah i but i in particular i really love creating i love being creative i like create i like you know i love creating stuffs you know i love creating and i loved it so so much when i started i couldn't stop you know even though the engagement wasn't there but i kept on you know making videos or, like making videos and it wasn't you know discouraging i was because i loved it so yeah that's why we are still here <laughs> anyways that's the end of my get to know me tag i hope it wasn't so long but yeah i hope you stick around till the end and if you did <clears throat> leave a heart in the comment section down below so that i'll know that you watched till the end okay so yeah that's the end of this video like comment and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye